Turkish Airlines, Seven Days, Nisinenok.com, Denny's Bank, Siesta, Tadim, Lenovo, Burger King, and SEG. Official global sponsors in association with the Turkish Airlines Euro League. This season's title favourites are up and running in a postseason with a clinical 33-point Game 1 win. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul suffocating defensive effort, holding Jalgiris counters to a record low 43 points. A fifth straight Final Four now within touching distance. But with coach Sarunas Yasakaevicius in charge, Zalgiris won't go down without a fight. The EuroLeague legend masterminded an improbable Final Four run last season. Can he conjure up more magic tonight? Eyes on the prize. All road leads to Victoria Gastes. Well, hello and a very warm welcome once again to the Ulka Sports and Event Hall. Will you join us for game two of this best of five series in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague playoffs? Inclement weather in Istanbul today. Visiting side, Jalgiris Kaunas will be hoping that the storm has passed because they were blown away in the series opener. 76-43 held to eight points in both quarters two and four, completely and utterly shackled by Fenerbahce's ferocious defensive effort. 33-point margin of victory, Fenerbahce's club record in the postseason. For Jalgiris Kaunas, well, that ignominiously low mark, the first time that they have been held below 50 points. Well, they're going to have to come with a response. You'd back them to do just that. Let's hear what their coach, Sarunas Yasakaevicius, has to say. I think, uh, you know, we have to worry about ourselves. We have to improve on the things we didn't do. There was obviously a lot of them because of the result. Uh, Fighting spirit has to be better, and uh, hopefully we will see a better Jalgiris today. Well, a succinct summation from Saruna Shiasakaevichis, and perhaps the most telling comment during the course of that interview was that the fighting spirit has to be better because they were really unable to respond and get a foothold in the game of any description. Fenerbahce, meanwhile, well, they were just absolutely sensational all game long. Deverioglu had a career-high seven rebounds and really set the tone. Let's hear from their coach, Zelko Abradovic, head of this game too. Obviously, we want to win again and to, to save, let's say, home court advantage that we have and to see what's going on. Uh, simple things are always the best thing, so to be concentrated, to go and to understand the way that we need to play, always with big respect to Jalgiris, because the game that they play another day is not a normal game. So, game two just moments away here at the Ulka Sports and Event Hall. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul entertaining Jalgiris Kaunas, looking to go one win away. On a return to the final four of the home team, Jalgiris Kaunas looking to neutralize the home court advantage that Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul enjoy. And the home teams came out on top in game one of all of the playoff series. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul with a dominant display. Anadolu FS Istanbul taking a 1 0 lead against FC Barcelona Lassa. Cesca Moscow. Ended up running away with it against Kirill Bet Basconia Vittoria Gastes, posting 90 points. And then at the Wizzing Center, my goodness, Real Madrid showing their mettle, overturning a fourth quarter deficit to prevail in a one possession game over Panathinaikos Opad Athens.
So for the visiting team, they really need a response tonight. Leo Westerman, two points on, but 0 of 2 from downtown in the first game of this series. Did dish out three assists and chip in with two rebounds as well. Aaron White had eight points on 50% from the free throw line and the field, along with two rebounds and an assist in 20 minutes of play. But this was the only double-digit scorer for Jalgiris Kaunas in that opening game, putting 10 points on the board, three or four from downtown, but perhaps the most surprising stat from his box score was in the free throw column, because he came in with 54 consecutive foul shots, went to 55, and then clanged the following two off the rim. So, Myris Gregonis, the best shooter in the free, it, free throw shooter in the league this season, looking to start a new streak, no doubt. Well, Eric Green had a really solid game in the opener, pouring in 12 points. At one point, he was perfect from both the field and the free throw line, ended up three of four from two-point territory. Marco Goduric was absolutely sensational, hitting from downtown and taking it to the rack effectively as well. Back that steal leading to a fast break, uncontested dunk, and Nikola Kalinic in a game full of strong performances for Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul. He was the game's MVP, posting 16 points, five of seven from two-point range, two of four from downtown. A performance index rating of 14, helped along by three boards and an assist and block in his 24 minutes on court. Terrific performance by Nikola Kalinic, really showed his all-court prowess, positioning beneath the bucket, taking it to the hole from the ring, wing, and dropping a couple of threes as well. Now, we highlighted this as a marquee matchup between two of the premier bigs in the Euro League this season. But Jan Vesely and Brandon Davies, well, their stat line tells the story because they were non factors, is the brutal truth of their performances. And here are the numbers to confirm that perspective. Jan Vesely with more fouls than points, more fouls than rebounds. And Brandon Davies, similarly quiet and both of their teams going to need them, particularly Zhao Giris Kaunas, are going to need their leading scorer and rebounder to come to the party tonight. So Zhao Giris Kaunas welcoming the return of Paulus Jankunas, who injured himself in the warm-up ahead of the Game 1 series opener, but he will take to the floor tonight. And how much will his basketball savvy and now be a welcome returnee for the visiting team? and Abachi Beko Istanbul still awaiting the return of Joe Frey Laverne and of course Tyler Ennis a long-term absentee out with that broken tibia since round three of the regular season when he played against Jalgiris County. Well the crowd really played their part in making this impenetrable home court fortress for Fenerbahce Istanbul, an uncomfortable place to play for Jalgiris Kaunas in game one. They were into it right from the outset. Continue to make raucous. Considerable noise throughout the 40 minutes. Jalgiris Kaunas, as any visiting team hoped to do, will look to silence the crowd immediately. They need to start more quickly or sustain the start that they made. They took an early lead in the first quarter, ended the first just 15-13 down, but then held to just eight points in the second quarter, and there the game was effectively over as a contest. They're being introduced to the crowd here now at the Elka Sports and Event Hall. And now we'll get the introductions of the home team who remain perfect this season at 16 and 0 here on home court.
So nice to see that exchange of pleasantries and mutual respect between the head coaches Zelko Bradovic and Saruna Shiasakai, but just so much history between those two as player and coach, of course, as is with Yasakaiva just at this club where he helped into a domestic league and cup double. And Abachi Beko Istanbul, the number one shooting team in the league, looking to maintain their efficiency in the face of what is likely to be a ferocious fight back by Jalgiris Kaunas. Fenerbahce also the meanest defense in the league in terms of points allowed. Just 74.7 points per game. The only team in the Euro League holding teams to fewer than 75 points. Well, Selko Bradovic knows Saruna Shasakaiva just better than anyone. The success that they enjoyed at Panathinaikos over the course of their four seasons together, including that Euro League title in 2009. Here's how this series is shaping up as respective sideline strategists. Jasakevic is looking for a response from his team tonight. And of course, Zelko Bradovic has tried to prepare his team for that. And that perhaps one of the most considerable dangers facing Fenerbahce tonight to ward off complacency is Westerman, Gregonis, in the backcourt, Aaron White and Garisto Novus, the forward, Brandon Davies, is the starting centre for the visiting team. Whereas for the home team, it's Meli Mamatoglu, the captain who gets the start, Marco Goduric and Ali Mohamed making up a three-guard backcourt, although Goduric, of course, versatile enough to play forward, Nicolo Meli and Ahmed de Berioglu of the duo on the front line. Well, it's a terrific atmosphere once again here at the Elka Sport and Event Hall. And what is going to be interesting for both teams is to how they adjust to the play calling of these three wise men. Luigi Lamonica, the crew chief of the officials, presiding over tonight's game. A whole host of fouls were ca called early on as the players didn't make the adjustments to respond to how fouls were being called. Ahmed the very ugly fouled out. Luigi de Tome, excuse me, Jan Vesely ended up with four fouls. Fewer than 10 minutes on the court, he got two fouls in the blink of an eye. The Elka Sports and Event Hall is absolutely rocking prior to the opening tip of this second game in this best of five series. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul welcoming Jalgiris Kaunas. They look to maintain their home court advantage and remain unbeaten in the postseason under the auspices of coach Jalko Bradovic. On home court, that is. Won all eight of their playoff games here on home court in the postseason under Zelko Bradovic. And the opening tip is controlled by the home team. Kuduric has used his dribble, he offloads to Mele. Now Meli Mamatoglu defended by Ulanovis. Mele setting a big screen to the left. The Berioglu setting a screen on the right. The Berioglu work, excuse me, Mamatoglu working the dribble. Meli Mamatoglu. Pulling up from the wing just above the foul line to open the scoring. And my goodness, is he confident? So Westerman in enjoying a size advantage over Dixon. Will they look to take him down to the block? Here's Westerman. Zone being shown. Collapsing down is the very ugly. Ball kicked out to the perimeter. Rapid ball movement sees Westerman five for three, but it's off right. Good rebound by Ahmet de Verioglu. Remember, he's coming into this game too off a career-best seven boards in game one. 
So Mama Toglu offloads to Goduric. The very Oglu sets the screen, pulling up for three and draining it is Marco Goduric. And Fenerbahce Istanbul starting this one in the same vein that they, as they ended game number one, on fire in the early stages. Long range shots on the trip down the floor from the number one shooting team in the league. Fouled en route to the basket. Myris Dragonis. Meli Mamatoglu is called for the foul. Bumping bodies out on the perimeter. So far before the active shooting, Gregonis receives the inbound. Mam Mamatoglu in pursuit once again. Inside to Brandon Davies. Nice drive and dish from Gregonis to find Brandon Davies. He finishes with a strong move on the inside. First point of the game for Jalgiris Kaunas. Attempting a double team momentarily were Jalgiris Kaunas. And if Gregonis has got a size advantage on the offensive end, he'll be at a speed disadvantage against Ali Mohamed as Goduric drives baseline. Brandon Davies picking him up. Goduric for three. Oh, my goodness. Marco Goduric has come out blazing to begin this game. Two of two from downtown. Both of them off the pull-up. He is feeling it tonight. Westerman stripped by Ali Mohamed. Ali Mohamed couldn't reel it in. So good recognition of the mismatch in terms of size by Jalgiris Kaunas, but Ali Mohamed, one of the toughest competitors in the league, and he's not going to give up without a fight, using the attributes in his favor. And that is quickness. He swatted away that ball. Westerman running Ali Mohamed into the screen, and now it's inside to Brandon Davies. Fantastic recognition. Brandon Davies just abusing Marco Goduric down low. That's what happens on the switch. Jalgiris Karnas have got to find a way to stop the field goal prowess of Fenerbahce, who have yet to miss in three attempts, including two of them from downtown. Ali Mohamed settling for a pull-up three from the corner, and that one rims in and out Aaron White with the board. First miss of the game so far for Fenerbahce. And now Westerman immediately looking to back down Ali Mohamed once again. The double team comes, Nicolo Meili with the pick. Terrific anticipation from Nicolo Meili to pick off that flat pass. His first steal of the game and lead the fast break. Edgar Selenovas broke up with a foul. Brandon Davies takes a seat on the bench and Dion Thompson checking into the game. Gregonis defending Mohamed. Oh, bumping him back over half court. No half back court violation, though. So perhaps he didn't come into the front court in the first place. Ali Mohamed sees a lane, drives daringly and gets the finger roll to go. The diminutive Ali Mohamed driving into the land of giants and coming away with a finger roll finish to put his team up by six. Gregonis, double teamed on the top. He's almost coughed up the basketball, but Ahmed De Veryoglu with a little bit too much body. He's called for his first foul. Hooked it away, but then look at that. The heavyweight trying to bowl over Gregonis in an effort to reel in the rock. Very ugly, remember, fouled out in the first game of this series. Checking into the game for the first time is Thomas Walker. So Westerman looking for a receiver. He finds Thompson, who squares up at the high post. Garrett, Garrett Villanovas, front rim on the three. Terrific follow and finish by Dion Thompson. Perfectly placed beneath the bucket to haul in that offensive board. He's averaging 2.9 rebounds through the course of this season in game one. So Meili, loosely defended by Aaron White. Mama Toglu with motion on the baseline. Now with Goduric, who's orchestrating things from the top of the key. He shakes loose. Swing pass, Meili's wide open, so too is Ali Mohamed. But when you can do that, Nicolo Meili 
40% from downtown this campaign, and he connects on his first. So, whistle on the play. Marco Gaduric is called for his first. Fouled in the act of shooting is Edgaris Ulanovas, so he goes to the free throw line. Ulanovas, a perfect four of four from the strike. All four of his four points coming from the free throw line in game one. He was 0 of 2 from the field in his 25 minutes on court. So two out of two and the Jalgiris fans cheering on from the spectators box here at the Elka Sports and Event Hall. Team have reduced the deficit to five. They've been down as many as seven. Ali Mohammed pounding the rock. He gives it back to Meili, who looks at the three. Didn't quite set his feet, but then sees Yats walk up on him and look to back him down with a low post move from the top of the key. Walk up called for the foul. That'll be his first. So Ali Mohammed with the inbound. 8, 14 seconds on the clock. Mainly calling for the clear out once again as he begins the low post bump and grind from the three point line. And is that on Thomas Walker up again or was it on Dion Thompson coming to help out? Because it's the exact same move from a different part of the court. Thomas Walker up called for two fouls in the blink of an eye. Trying to defend Nicolo Mainly on the perimeter. He's called out of the game, having picked up his second foul with less than two minutes on court, checking into the game for the first time. Here's Nate Walters. So Mohamed sees the lane once again, goes to the double pump on the layup, the tip from Ahmed the very Oglu, and between Meli Mamatoglu and Ali Mohamed, they retain possession. Blind pass to the corner is a beauty. Nicolo Meili back in on the shot. The very Oglu was active to get a piece of it, but he only tapped it into the hands of Edgar Silanova. Aaron White picked up by Meili. Westerman looking for Aaron White to go to the corner. Edgar Silanova down in the low corner, kicks it off to Dion Thompson. That's a terrific pass from Edgar Silanova off the drive, and he finds Dion Thompson who has finished both of his buckets right at the rim, this time dunking on top of Ahmet Duverioglu. Had a tough time on the defensive end in game one, did Dion Thompson when he was trying to guard Marco Guduric on the perimeter. Guduric gets all the way to the bucket with a terrific strong drive, eight points in the game already. Marco Guduric is yet to miss from the field. Two of two from downtown. That time he took it to the rack with authority. That stems a 4-0 run that Jalgiris Kanas have put together. Leo Westerman lost the dribble. Shot clock continues to tick. Now he's continuing to work on Ali Mohammed. He's got a huge mismatch here. He's settled for the three and he drops it in the eye of Ahmed Duverioglu. Leo Westerman with his first point of the game makes it a one-possession game. Guduric defended by Ulanovas. The two man exchange between Guduric and Meili. Ali Mohamed, Dion Thompson hedging out to help. Double teaming once again. Guduric working on Ulanovas. Step back three. He's back iron on the shot. And Leo Westerman has stepped over the baseline trying to reel in that basketball. So timeout on the floor. In the first quarter of this game two of this best of five series, the Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul leading Jalgiris Kaunas by two. I'm going to go 
So some of the sights and sounds from the opening quarter to this point. Dion Thompson and Marco Goduric playing really well for their teams out of the gate. So Costas Lucas into the game for the first time. He's shadowed by Walters. He's used his dribble, so he needs a receiver. Ali Mamatoglu. Looking to use a screen by Vesely, he's also checked into the game for the first time, poked away by Arturis Malaknis. And I think in, well, which way is the foul gone? I think in trying to retrieve the basketball, Meli Mamatoglu may well have picked up a foul. This is a fantastic defensive play. It's Dion Thompson who got the poke out of the hands and then in trying to run down Malaknis. Meli Mamatoglu has committed his first foul, but that's a terrific play by Dion Thompson. Remember, here's the poke away by Dion Thompson. He's bounced back really well in this game too. Now, what's the verdict? Not an unsportsmanlike foul. It's the regular foul called against the Fenerbahce captain, Meli Mamatogu. He takes a seat on the bench because that's his second foul. And we are still in the first quarter, checking into the game, Eric Green who had 12 points on an efficient shooting night in the series open. He's now defending Westerman. Westerman with a left-handed bounce pass to Walters. Back to Westerman, Dion Thompson. Perhaps didn't recognize that Slukas was on him in this zone. Three-pointer landed by Nate Walters. 31% from downtown this season. He buries his first attempt tonight. And Jalgiris Kaunas take their first lead of the game. They're on a 6-0 run. Kuduric to Mele. Zone being played by Jalgiris Kaunas. And Vesely catching the ball, outstretched over Arturis Malaknis. Nice pass from Mele to put it where Malaknis couldn't reach it. The lob, an effective one. Well, this is a gamble because Thomas Walkup has checked back into the game with two fouls to his name already. And Fenerbahce look to take the ball to him. It's Walters at the top of the zone. Dion Thompson shadowing Vesely as he threatened with his screen. Now Slukas trying to be defended by Thompson. He got an outstretched arm up and it was an effective deterrent to make Slukas go off the mark. Vesely putting his body on the line, trying to haul in that basketball. And remember, Thomas Walkup playing with two fouls. So Vesely almost taking that one away. Remember, he's one of the league's best ball thieves. With Vesely, Fenerbahce's leader in that regard, pulling in 1.4 per night. And in trying to get the ball that he deflected, there was contact between he and Walker. Dion Thompson, top of the key. And Dion Thompson, three of three from the field, two dunks, and now a long-range perimeter shot from above the free-throw line. 18 points now. It's an 8-0 run for Jalgiris Kaunas. They lead by three, their largest lead of the game. And it's an altogether different Jalgiris Kaunas, although truth be told, they're only trailing by two at the end of the first. In game one, Jan Vesely called for his first foul. Remember, he was pretty much a non-factor in the first game, spending the majority of it on the bench in foul trouble. Walk up upstairs to Aaron White. Aaron White can't convert. It was a perfectly placed lob. Aaron White getting above the rim. 
just couldn't control the drop into the bucket. Aaron White's at the top of the zone D now. Fronting may lose Walters. There's a huge advantage here. De Deon Thompson has come to help. So it's a swarming, trapping zone that Jalgiris Kaunas are playing, trying to nullify the shooting effectiveness of Fenerbahce. Both teams in the penalty. Nicolo Meili to the free throw line. 79% foul shooter on this season. Didn't go to the free throw line in game one, where his four points came on perfect shooting from two point territory. So Nicolo Meili brings his team back to within one and also stems. 8-0 run that Jalgiris Karnas had put together. And there's a milestone to pass for Nicolo Meili. 1,500 points during the course of his illustrious EuroLeague career. So Walters, defended by Slukas. Thompson with a big screen, and that frees up Walters to slice down the lane and move to five points in the game on perfect shooting from the field. Jalgiris Kaunas extend their lead to three, just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Is that on the likeness? Because that's going to be foul number two, if it is. Oh, I think it's been marked down as a foul against Dion Thompson. So to the free throw line then, Nikola Kalinic. Player of the game in game one. There's confirmation that the foul was called on Dion Thompson. Kalinic, 79% shooter from the line this season. Nikola Kalinic goes one of two. And it's a one possession game with less than a minute to play. Walker. Upstairs it goes to Aaron White, and that is two times they've tried to connect above the rim. And they've come up empty on both occasions. More difficult pass for Aaron White to try and control on that occasion. The first one he got two hands on, but couldn't control the conversion. So Slukas offloading to Luigi de Tome. He has the basketball now, receiving it from Vesely. Swarming D continuing to be applied by Jalgiris Kaunas, but that is one way to keep the defense honest. Eric Green with a tough three-pointer. Despite the tight defensive attentions of Dion Thompson, he got it to drop his first points of the night on his first three-point attempt. And it gives Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul a one-point lead. We've got a three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock in the closing stages of quarter number one. Walters has used his dribble. He gives it to Malaknis, who fires a deep three. Front rim on the shot. Rebound eventually secured by Fenerbahce, and that is the final action of the first quarter. A first quarter where Fenerbahce are leading by just one. Tight, competitive first 10 minutes. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul 21, Shalgiris Kaunas 20. Fenerbahce started magnificently, burying their first two buckets. Marco Goduric hitting both of his three-point attempts during the course of that first 10 minutes. But Jalgiris moved the ball purposefully. Brandon Davies rocking the rim. There's the second of the triple from Marco Goduric. Ending the first quarter with eight points, including two mates from downtown and perfect from two-point territory. Nicolo Melli getting in on a long-range shooting act. Benabachi four of seven from downtown over the course of the first quarter. A terrific drive and dump, and once again, it's Dion Thompson in a perfect position to receive that offload from his teammate. Dion Thompson with six points in the game on perfect shooting from the field. You can see, this is a keenly contested affair through the first 10 minutes. Jagir is kind of employing a zone for large parts of it, trying to nullify the effectiveness of Fenerbahce's shooters, but in doing so, Got players who have picked up two fouls in 
the form of Thomas Walkup. For Fenerbahce. Only Mamatoglu who started the Fenerbahce captain. He picked up two fouls in his seven minutes on court. So the second quarter underway, Thomas Walkup hearing it from the fans after he and Jan Vesely collided in the first half. Davies defended by Vesely. That's the marquee matchup we highlighted between two of the league's premier big men. Inside it goes to Davies. He's creating contact with Kalinic, bounces him off beneath the bucket and gets the left, excuse me, the right-handed hook off the glass to go. Perfect shooting from the field for Brandon Davies in his six-point total so far. Vesely puts it to the top of the key. Detomi off the feed from Eric Green. GG Detomi from downtown. He was two of five from three-point territory in game one. He's hit his first three-point effort tonight to put Fenerbahce up by two. Walker gives it to Davies. Dump down low. Terrific movement off the ball and delightful recognition from Brandon Davies to dump it to the back door cutter and hook up Edgar Salanovas for his first field goal of the night. We are all square at 24 points apiece. So ball remaining in the hands of Eric Green. He gets it to Vesely, he rotates it to Kalinic. Oh my goodness, now Vesely has hit the floor in the circle surrounding the free throw line. Brandon Davies called for his first foul. Shiatakaivich is with a wry smile, because look at that. Inadvertent contact, I would say, but the officials in ideal position, and they have called the foul against Brandon Davies. Davies helping out on Slukas. Pass finds the Toma with the shot clock in the red. He dribbles into the wing, goes glass, can't get it to fall. Brandon Davies with the board. That's his first of the night. To walk up to the free throw line. Walters gives it back to walk up. He jacks from three. Off right. What a follow and what a finish from Edgaris Alanovas. Six points in the game already. Off that, his first offensive rebound. Two of two from the fit from two-point territory and perfect from the free throw line. Jalgiris lead by two. Long-range bomb dropped by Costas Lucas. To tie things up at 26 points apiece, his first points of the game. And that's a familiar finish from Nate Walters. If you allow him to get on the run and employ that playground sky hook, well, it's a very effective weapon indeed. So we've got a whistle on the play as Eric Green looks to drive baseline. So Vesely working the dribble, he's looking for a ball handler, he puts it instead inside to Kalinic, who is working on Edgar Ulanovas, and that's an offensive foul against Nikola Kalinic, after Ulanovas wound up with his palms on the hardwood. So here is where the infraction occurred. I think it was the hand to the small of the back, but any veteran big man will tell you that that is a part of his armory. Kalinic caught with his hands in the cookie jar on this occasion. He's caught for his first foul. Beautiful pass to Davies, power dribble in there. Oh, he's blown the jump hook, but it's followed in by Edgara Solanovas, who is incredibly active on the offensive boards tonight. That's his second one. He remains perfect from two-point territory and leads his team with eight points in the game. Nice move by Brandon Davies, but look at that for a tip and finish from Edgara Solanovas.
terrific control and he puts his team up by two. Time out on the floor. So here's Slukas pulling up for the long range too. Look at the coaches, my goodness. Cut from the same cloth. <laughs> so, Benabache being doubled up in this second quarter so far. Jalgiris Kaunas with the largest lead of the game. Led by three in the first quarter at 20 points to 17. Here they are with a four-point advantage and they're in the midst of a run of four points without reply. Slukas turning on his speed. He's picked up by Gregonis. Slukas keeping the ball, gets into the lane, kicks it to Datomi, who doesn't catch it cleanly on the first attempt. Back in the hands of Slukas, who pulls up at the foul line. My goodness, he was involved in practically every facet of that offense. Costas Lucas moved to four points in the game on two of three shooting from two-point territory. It's a one-possession affair here. Just over three minutes gone in the second quarter. Malaknis catching as a shooter, and when he does that, the resulting motion often results in a made bucket. Arturus Malaknis cutting beautifully off the baseline, and the defender was nowhere near him. Both teams using the three-pointer effectively. Fenerbahce especially so. But they are down by five. The largest deficit of the game so far. Tourist Malaknis. Beautiful catch and shoot. So Vasily receives the inbound, he gives it to Goduric. Tome looking for Goduric, he's fronted by Bolanovas, who is defending the big manfully. Well, that's the type of bucket that Kostas Lukas was making all game one. Fantastic positioning once again, but the fight of Jalgiris Kaunas, and indeed the range that they're finding from downtown is altogether better here in game two than they were in game one. They lead by eight. Terrific performance by Jalgiris Kaunas, and just listen to the response it brings from the Fenerbahce fans as Vesely receives the feed on the inside and finishes with the jam. <laughs> Terrific find from Kostas Lucas. Jan Vesely all alone beneath the bucket. Now, offensive foul is the call. And if this is against Brandon Davies, it's going to be foul number two as we approach the midpoint of this second quarter. Confirmation that it is against Davies. Again, Jalgiris have got to walk that fine line between playing physically and not getting themselves into foul trouble. Brandon Davies called for the foul. She sees him take a seat on the bench. So Slukas setting things up with his team down by six. Slukas has used his dribbles and finds the tone. Again, it's going to be a foul against Myris Grigonis. Sporting some petroleum jelly beneath his left eye. So he's in the midst of a boxing match. That's how physical it's getting. Grigonis called for his first foul. Jalgiris, one away from the penalty as we approach the midpoint 
of this second quarter. Kuduric working the jab step, crossing up Ulanovas who recovers well. Wraparound pass finds Ali Mohamed for three. Front rim on the shot. Tough D employed by Jalgiris Kaunas. Nate Walters turning up the tempo. Drive, gets it away. Shooter's touch eludes him. Gets the follow-up but can't get it to fall. Nikola Kalinic brings it over half. Takes it all the way to the lane, swatted away on the inside. Jalgiris Kaunas is continuing to mount a fantastic defensive effort. And then wonderful ball movement on the break. The offload from Dion Thompson to Nate Walters, who was rewarded for running the floor. What a feed from Dion Thompson. Jalgiris Kaunas restore the eight points advantage. Well, the Fenerbahce fans remaining right behind their team as Kostas Lukas looks for a pull-up three, can't get it to go. Edgar Stelanovas with the board. Now Ulanovas looking to back down Slukas. Double team comes in the form of Guduric. Gregonis defended by Ali Mohamed. He works his way over the screen set by Dion Thompson, gets all the way to the glass. And then there's a tangle of arms which sees Myris Grigonis wind up on the ground. But again, this is playoff time and the intensity has gone up several notches. And you'll notice that neither team is complaining about the physicality of this encounter. Ali Mohamed called for his first foul and it will send Myris Grigonis to the free throw line for the first time tonight. So Myris Grigonis, who saw his streak of made consecutive foul shots come to an end at 55 in game one, starts a new one because he missed his final two free throw attempts in that series open up. The only Jalgiris Kaunas player in double figures in that first game in his 10 point total. Customary service has been resumed. Myris Grigonis with a perfect trip to the free throw line. And Jalgiris Kaunas have a double-digit advantage. The largest lead they have enjoyed of the game, and perhaps given the beatdown they endured in Game 1, their largest lead of the series. So Slukas being defended by Grigonis. Vesely hanging around to set a screen on the left. Leon Thompson hedges to help out. Find on the inside, and he gets the shot away, does Jan Vesely. Perfectly played, pick and roll between Kostas Lukas and Jan Vesely. It took a terrifically accurate pass from Slukas to find Vesely, who rolled to the bucket, and then Vesely did his part by reeling in the reception and finishing with a tough shot on the inside in the face of heavy defensive pressure. He'll go to the free throw line when we emerge from this timeout. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul have reduced the 10 point deficit to just eight at the juncture of this interval. Bikani, Serbian superstar Bogdan Bogdanovic back here supporting his former team with whom he enjoyed Euro League glory. Olympic silver medalist as well, Rio a few years ago. Motion running high through this first half so far. Chargiris with a brief 10 point lead. And Abache will now go to the free throw line. Vesely looks to complete a three-point play. Terrific numbers on the season for Jan Vesely. Started his, entered the season as a career 56% foul shooter. He can't find a range on that one, so he can't complete 
the bonus. Aaron White doesn't square up, gives it back to Westerman. He's being guarded by Mohamed. Gregonis takes it into the lane, kicks to Dion Thompson from the wing. Front rim on the shot, big rebound, Luigi Ditome. And now it's Goduric on the break. He gets to around the foul line, but brings the ball back to the outside. It's Lucas looking for the screen from Vesely. Vesely rolling down to the bucket. It's Lucas being harried by Edgaras Ulanovas, and he'll be called for his second foul. So, Jalgiris Karnas in the penalty. It will be a trip to the free throw line for Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce, the fifth best free throw shooting team in the league. They play aggressively in these final three minutes. Their 80% average on the season could well see them reduce the arrears with the clock stopping as we approach the half-time interval. Of course, I've got to find a way to stop Jalgiris Karnas from scoring, who are outscoring them. 20 points to 13 in this second quarter so far. So Westerman. Mohamed guarding him. Baseline motion, sees that Gareth Villanova square up, then looks to back down. Lucas, look at how desperately he's calling for the basketball. Gugonis gets the ball to the perimeter. Westerman for three. That's a tough shot. Three points indeed from Leo Westerman. His second three-pointer of the game takes him to six points in the game and puts his team up by nine. Jalgiris counters five of nine from downtown. It's Lucas trying to find a teammate on the wraparound, Ali Mohamed bells him out, but it leaves Jan Vesely to get loose on the baseline. Four, six points in the game now for Jan Vesely. Ali Mohamed really coming to his team's rescue there to pick up the loose bouncing ball. Two minutes to go in the first half. Jalgiris Kaunas leading by seven. Aaron White for three, count it! And Jalgiris Kaunas continuing to light it up from long range. Aaron White with his first field goal of the game puts his team up by 10 once more. Nobody closing out on Aaron White. Timeout has been called and it's the visiting team who lead Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul by 10. Both teams demonstrating some outstanding shooting from long range, despite the intense defensive pressure that's being applied. Jalgiris counters 60% from downtown on 10 attempts. And Abachi Beko, Istanbul, 5 of 10 from downtown. Nate Walters, whose career high came against Fenerbahce. Terrific game so far tonight. It's Lucas. Upstairs it goes to Vesely. What a catch. He can't convert the finish. Oh, and he's called for the foul. And again, it's that type of foul which is going to be regarded as pretty wasteful from Fenerbahce's point of view. He's trying a sneaky steal from behind Gregonis, but Gregonis 
hit to the attempts to pick his pocket. I suppose you're not among the league leaders in steals. Baskonia in the fourth quarter, up 11 at the Mega Sport Arena. Aaron White finally gets control of the ball down by the low post, bringing Nicolo Meili out to the perimeter. Gives it to Gregonis, who drives off loads to Thompson. He doesn't catch it cleanly on the first attempt. Shot clock in the red, and it's a shot clock violation. Dion Thompson will be disappointed that he couldn't control the pass on the inside because the terrific, the positioning was terrific. And given how he's been shooting so far, he would have backed himself to get a high percentage shot off close to the rim. And instead, it's a 24-second violation, courtesy of the intense defensive pressure applied by Fenerbahce. They're still trailing by 10. Being outscored in this second quarter by 11. 26 points to 15 in favor of Delgiris Kaunas, but Costas Lucas landing from long range. Over the outstretched arm of Dion Thompson takes him to nine points in the game on his first three-pointer, and that reduces the arrears to seven. Timeout on the floor. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul 39, Delgiris Kaunas 36. And this is how Costas Lucas getting loose on the step back to move to nine points in the game. Well, that's how things stand. Over at the Mega Sports Arena, Siobhan Shields for the second game in succession. Leading his team in scoring. Game not in the bag, of course, yet. Vassan Poirier with 11 boards already. After setting a new record for offensive rebounds. In the, season for the, in the first game. Slightly concerned expressions, perhaps, on the faces of the Fenerbahce fans. All smiles throughout game one and in the opening stages of game two, but what a fight back Jalgiris Kaunas have produced. Of course, Joko Bradovic and all of his team expected this, but my goodness, Jalgiris Kaunas executed well in this cauldron of an atmosphere here at the Olka Sports and Event Hall. Closing seconds of the second quarter. Double team in the corner. His last touch by Marco Goduric. Clever play by Leo Westerman, bouncing it off the knee of Goduric. The trap converged on him in the corner. So Gregonis looking to inbound. He finds Leo Westerman. Back-to-back -back three pointers have been scored by Jalgiris Kaunas. Westerman hit the first of that back-to-back -back brace. He's looking for another one, pulling up from long range. Back rim on the shot, rebound Nikola Kalinic. So we have a negligible difference of less than a second between the shot clock and the game clock. Kostas Lukas looking up to check the time score contact. He knows that his team are down by seven. They scored the most recent bucket of the game. It was a three-pointer from his hot hand. He keeps it himself. He drives. He gets all the way to the window, but he can't get it to fall. Launching a three-quarter court shot with Myris Gregonis, but he can only find the backboard. So the first half in the book here at the Ulka Sports and Event Hall, and what a seesaw opening two quarters it has been. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul trailing by seven. They've been down by as many as ten. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul 39, Jalgiris Kaunas 46. Turkish Airlines, seven days. Nisinenok.com, Denny's Bank, Siesta, Tadim, Lenovo, Burger King, and SEG. Official global sponsors in association with the Turkish Airlines Euro League. Well, that is how things stand here at the Olka Sports and Event Hall after a topsy-turvy opening 20 minutes. Jalgiris Kaunas 
with a terrific performance in the second quarter, 26-18. They outscored Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul to lead by seven. Let's hear from Zelko Bradovic. Coach, uh, what do you expect in the second half after the first half? Uh, aggressivity, is it, in a, is it in a level that you wanted? No, it's obvious, they dominate the game. It was uh, very simple to understand that they will come in a different way to try to play. We play very lazy, they dominate in rebound, they are patient. We are in rush offensively, we want first option, and we didn't try to play defense. This is it, we change the game. Thank you, coach. Wow, what an assessment from coach Zarko Bradovic. Everybody's the first option on the offense, and we're playing lazily on defense. So, here's coach Yasakaibiches. Coach, so far so good. Uh, a lot of uh, aspects of the game turned in your favor. How will you maintain this for the rest of 20 minutes? Well, we got to continue playing with the same energy. Uh, we got to improve some details on on offense, but uh, in general, you know, the first half is, uh, is 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 really good. Thank you, Coach. Well, the fans up on their feet to begin this second half as Fenerbahce prepare to inbound from the halfway line. They are currently trailing by seven in game two of this best of five series. Elko Bradovic wanting to see a response from his team. Coach Sarunis Yasakaevich of Jalgiris Khan is looking for his team to maintain and build upon the momentum they established in the second quarter. So it's Lukas, Fenerbahce's leading scorer in the first half. Mele with the kick to the perimeter. Kalinic on the drive, gets to the rim, blows the layup. Rebound ultimately hauled in by Leo West Westerman. It's Westerman, Gregoni, Saren White, Edgaris Villanova, and Brandon Davies, the five on the floor to begin the second half for the visitors. Kalinic defending. Gregonis, who sees a wide open baseline. Nicolo Meili left home, meaning that the bucket was unprotected. And Myris Gregonis with the daring drive and finish moves to four points in the game. Jalgiris Karnas with the first field goal of the second half. They lead by nine. Ali Mohamed for three. Count it. Ali Mohamed with his first three pointer of the game moves to five points in the game off the feed from Nicolo Meili. Fenerbahce. Down by six. A minute and ten seconds gone in this second half. Grigonis offloads to White. Inside it goes to Edgar Stelanovas. He's trying to back down Goduric into the lane, wheeled back to the baseline and finishes with the right-handed flip off the window. Edgar Stelanovas, perfect shooting from two-point territory. Ten points in the game. Terrific display by Edgar Stelanovas. And again, Jalgiris Kanas doing an outstanding job recognizing where their advantages lie and crucially they've been able to capitalize on those advantages. Guduric looking to work his advantage on the perimeter against Brandon Davies. He goes for a pull-up three that's off after the pressure from the elapsing shot clock. Kalinic with the offensive board but he can't stick back the bunny. Oh that's a foul on a three-point shooter. Myris Gregonis will go to the three free throw line and despite that little blip in game one, you would back him to make all three of these foul shots. My goodness. A foul from Marko Goduric. Kalinic with the rebound, can't get it to go. And then on this transition opportunity, Gregonis shooting from three-point territory. Well, it's Kalinic, excuse me, who'd been called for the foul. That's his second. I don't think there's any doubt that his feet are in three-point territory. I assume that is what's being reviewed over at the table. So to the free-throw line for three shots. Myris Gregonis, perfect from the stripe so far on his first two attempts. 
And again, you'd expect the ball to tick over to 53 here. Gregonis' accuracy from 15 feet away. So Myris Gregonis gives his team their largest lead of the game. Now they're applying a full court trapping D. Guduric gets it over the halfway line. Kalinic to the free throw line. That's a difficult pass. What a catch from Ali Mohamed. And then getting it back to Kalinic. Kalinic sees it bobble off his foot. But this is a really tall order, both literally and figuratively, for Ali Mohamed to try and reel in that pass. And Fenerbahce not executing with any type of efficiency here. Kalinic has got a seat on the bench. To just get his head back into the game. He committed the foul of a three-point shooter then. After an awful lot of Ali Mohammed to try and haul in that pass. Terrific drive and jump stop from Myris Gregonis and all of the momentum is was Jalgiris Kaunas. Well, Brandon Davies will be called for the foul, that's his second. Trying to move his feet, but that's a really difficult matchup against the speedy Ali Mohammed for Brandon Davies out the perimeter. Thomas Walker helping the officials with their call, saying that there should have been a carry. Having been called for his third foul, Brandon Davies takes a seat on the bench. Three fouls for Brandon Davies. Lucas drives, gets to the rim, and finishes at the window. 11 points in the game for Costas Lucas, the sole man into double figures for Fenerbahce. His team has been down by as many as 13. Gregonis, who's playing well right now, gets an open three-pointer, rim shot. Rebound hauled in by Slukas, who really is doing it all for his team right now. Guduric on the jump stop. Ali Mohamed picked up by Gregonis. And just look at the energy that Jalgiris counters are playing with. Every time a Fenerbahce player receives the basketball, there's a green-shirted athlete closing out on him aggressively. And the fans are doing their part to try and rally their team here in the third quarter. Fenerbahce's fantastic homestand under threat. The team facing a, facing a double-digit deficit here in quarter number three. Mohamed. Working on Westerman, Dion Thompson helping out. Mohamed driving, they've got nowhere to go. It's taken away by Leo Westerman with a terrific steal. He's first of the game. He jumps to pass, finds Edgar Arcella. No verse. Count the bucket. Yes, indeed. Edgar Arcella Novus moves to 12 points in the game. Wonderful recognition for that feed from the perimeter. And his positioning was perfect beneath the bucket. He is perfect from the field. And what a turn up in Moscow. For the first time since 2008, Suska Moscow have been defeated on home court. What a result. Kirill Bet, Basconi, Vittoria Gasteiz, who are the host of the final four this season, making a terrific statement of intent as they try and arrive at the final four by evening up the best of five series on the road in Moscow. 10 points, the margin of advantage, 68-78 in a low-scoring encounter in the Russian capital. It is the visitors, Kirill Bet, Basconia, Vittoria Gasteiz, who have come away with a game two win to tie that series at one game apiece. What a result that is. Luigi Vittoni with his first trip to the free throw line tonight. Moves to three, four points in the game. So Gigi Ditome, two out of two from the free throw line. He has six points, his team are down 11. They've been down by as many as 13 on a couple of occasions. And the crowd are really trying to draw a response and give their team some inspiration here in the third quarter. 
Now, Edgar Stelanovas and Marco Goduric were fighting furiously close to the low post. I say close to it because by the time the tussle finished, look at that, they're out by the three-point line. Either man wanting to cede possession, or rather, position, but rather they were fighting tooth and nail to get the best position in order to secure possession. Just having a word with Ali Mohammed and Leo Westerman. Nothing to see here. Mr. Referee, I'm sure, is what they're saying. Walk up, finds Dion Thompson. Westerman, defended by Mohammed. Big screen set by Dion Thompson. Upstairs, it goes to him. He makes the catch. That's a terrific catch. Catch by Walk up. Shot clock in the red. He gets into the lane. Turn around, Jay, on the fade. And it could well be that type of night. Thomas Walk up with his first points of the game restores the largest lead of the game once again. 13 points once more for Jalgiris Kaunas. And that's a tough finish on the inside by Thomas Walker. Three-pointer from Gigi de Tome. Pretty early in the offense. And often Abache becoming just a little bit impatient as we approach the midpoint of this third quarter. Jalgiris Kaunas have held them to just seven points so far. And Edgaris Ullanovas is tearing them up. Perfect shooting from the field continued by Edgar Solanovas in his 14-point hole. And it's a 15-point advantage for the visiting team, their largest lead of the game. So, timeout on the floor, and the lead has grown to 15 points from what was seven at the halftime interval. Jalgiris Kaunas dominating the third quarter so far. The brains trust of Fenerbahce, Beko Istanbul, looking to devise schemes and strategies that the team will have to execute to get back into this game two in this best of five series. But Jalgiris Kanas have been absolutely fantastic so far tonight. Can they maintain the energy and the composure that they've just demonstrated in what is an incredibly difficult place to play? The Fenerbahce fans trying to make them as uncomfortable as possible. But Jalgiris Kaunas are dealing with that, with that discomfort right now. Ali Mohamed to the far line. Dion Thompson switching to help out. Inside to Mele. He turns, shoots in the, in the double team. Gets his own offensive rebound. But he can't get the stick back to four. He winds up on his back. Thomas Walkup pushing hard. Jalgiris Kaunas with a one-man advantage. And the Euro step drive down the lane from Thomas Walkup. Puts his team up by 17. Their largest advantage of the game to this point. Jalgiris counters playing freely and full of confidence. Everything flowing fantastically for them right now. Shot clock in the red for Fenerbahce. The ball not leaving the hands of Kostas Lukas. He draws the foul en route to the bucket. But Fenerbahce have got to make a move here to try and dent the confidence of Jalgiris Kaunas and place some doubt into their minds because right now 
They are playing as freely as though this were a practice rather than game two of the playoffs. So Jalgiris Karnas in the penalty. Four minutes and change to go. If Fenerbahce can be aggressive, that can get them to the free throw line with the drive and stop the clock. And the clock is a friend of Jalgiris Karnas right now. They have a lead that was as large as 17. It's been reduced to 15 after that trip to the free throw line by Costas Lucas. 13 points in the game, 4 of 4 from the stripe. He is the only man into double figures for the home team. Olenovas with Dion Thompson wrestling with Nikola Kalinic down low. Oh, and Gareth Olenovas with the running left-handed hook. Moves to 16 points in the game on perfect shooting from the field. 7 of 7 from two-point territory, along with 2 of 2 from the foul line. And it's a 17-point advantage once again. The Tomi goes blast from the wing just outside the lane to reduce the arrears to 15. But Edgaris Ulanovas, a, ter a terrific performance so far. And truth be told, confidence is just coursing through the collective veins of Jalgiris Kaunas. Fenerbahce, in stark contrast, cutting a collective set of frustrated figures out on court. Vesely looking for the steal. There's lots of contact and there was contact with the head before he came down, so I'm not quite sure what Vesely's complaints are. Truth be told, Vesely called for foul number three. Thomas Walkup, and a terrific contribution. He too, perfect from the field and the free throw line putting his team up by 16. So it's a 17-point advantage once more, and it's all smiles among the visiting fans of Jalgiris Kaunas here at the Olka Sports and Event Hall. They're in a distinct minority, but their team playing some terrific basketball. Slukas inside to Vesely, caught in heavy traffic, back out to the Tomi for three, and he buries it. Gigi Ditome moves to 10 points in the game on two of three shooting from downtown. But Fenerbahce still find themselves in a 14-point hole. Time out on the floor. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul, 53. Jalgiris Town is 67. And there's confirmation as to how Jalgiris Dominating this third quarter once again. Fenerbahce showing signs of life in their fight back. Terrific catch from Vesely, kicking out to the Tome. He caught as a shooter, found the range from downtown. Well, when you come to a place such as this, home fans often regarded as the sixth man. My goodness, these fans are expending a lot of energy tonight, cheering on their, fan, their, their team incessantly in a bid to provide some inspiration. An extra zip to the player Fenerbahce. Walk up working on Nikola Kalinic. Fenerbahce still with fouls to give. Doing a good job in drawing the foul. That's the third on Nikola Kalinic. So it's Walters, defended by Slukas, who is sending him left. Leon Thompson coming to set a screen on the right-hand side. Now there's a mismatch down low as Thompson is posting up big. Walters keeps it himself. Vesely, well, Fenerbahce have got to keep their heads in the game here. There's a lot of emotion being shown. 
And of course, you don't want that to become destructive. Because if a victim mentality sets in and you'll start telling yourself, well, the refs are against us, we're not getting any calls, that is not the correct attitude if you're seeking to overturn a 14-point deficit. Jalgiris Karnas, perfect from the free throw line as a team. And that continues now, 11 of 11 from the stripe. And those so valuable. They increase their lead to 16. And again, just look at the contrast in responses. Dion Thompson clearly doesn't agree with that call, nor does Saruna Shatakaivichis, and the coach has been teed up. But I was talking about the contrast in response because Dion Thompson, he was clearly disappointed the call went against him. Not sure he can have many complaints, but there were no histrionics. Sharuna Shiasakaevich has clearly said something in the direction of Luigi Lemonica that has caused him to be hit with a tee. And he's still voicing his protestations from the sideline. So both teams in the penalty. The technical foul shot will come first. And it's Gigi Ditomi, the sixth most accurate foul shooter of all time in the EuroLeague, who drains the technical free throw. Well, who knows what was said, but Luigi, it wasn't to the liking of Luigi LaMonica. Technical foul shot has been hit. So now the two foul shots after the foul by Dion Thompson on Jan Vesely. Terrific shooting from the free throw line by Jan Vesely. Connecting on both of those shots to reduce the arrears to 13. Fenerbahce would love to go in at the end of the third quarter down by just 10 or single digits of course would be even better but can they slow down Jalgiris Kaunas not with low post play like that Brandon Davies taking advantage of the mismatch that he found on his back 16 points 15 points advantage for the visiting team. Kuduric, defended by Davies. Kalinic looking at a three, back iron on the shot. Again, is that a little bit rushed in the course of the offense? Jalgiris doing a fantastic job disrupting the flow and rhythm that Fenerbahce are trying to find. Brandon Davies and Nicolo Meli on his back. He rumbles his way into the middle. Scooping the underhand shot, and I get the sense it's going to be that type of night. Brandon Davies with back-to-back -back buckets. That one on a terrific move in the low post. Buffeting Nicolo Meili, feeling where the contact was, and despite being 2.08 meters tall, was able to wriggle his way beneath the bucket and get the flip scoop shot to go. He moves to 10 points in the game. And Jalgiris counters up by 17 once again. Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul, the best defending team in the EuroLeague, have had 27 points put on them in this quarter. After, after giving up 26 in quarter number two, but we've still got time left here in quarter number three. Just under a minute and a half to go. And Jalgiris Kaunas are outscoring Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul by 10 points so far in the second half. 
Kalinic calls for Guduric. Nate Walters forcing him left. Excuse me, forcing him right. Guduric going to his left. And the ball not really leaving the hands. Tough shot attempted. And again, you have to credit the D of Jalgiris counters as they force what was really a 24-second violation, but they came up with possession. Tough shot attempted. One on about three or four from Marco Guduric from the perimeter. Sanan Guler into the game. Thomas Walkup has lost his footing, and in doing so, he's gone over the baseline. That an unnecessary turnover. The seventh one committed by Jalgiris Kaunas. Both teams keeping the turnover count pretty low. And that one of the few things that Jalgiris Kaunas have done wrong so far in this second half. Thomas Walkup sliding over the baseline to concede that turnover. So, Jalgiri still extending the defence. And Abashi look to go two for one. Doesn't look as though they are. Nicolo Meili with the catch on the inside, gets to the glass and gets the shot to go. Effective way to beat that trapping, swarming D that's being applied. Putting the ball up where the smaller defenders can't find it. So now we've got a three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock in the closing stages of quarter number three. Walk-up being defended by Guler. Both teams in the penalty. Thompson setting a screen. Now rolling down to the bucket where he's got a huge mismatch. Walk-up keeps it himself. He's going to be called for the offensive foul. That's a move that served him pretty well so far. This drive from the top of the key and the spin, but Slukas's positioning was perfect. And that left forearm to the midriff is an offensive foul called against Thomas Walkup. And remember, he's the man who gave up the turnover by sliding over the baseline previously. So Slukas with the shot clock, or well, the quarter clock kick ticking down, goes to the one leg from the short corner but can't find the range. So, at the end of three quarters of play, it is Jalgiris Kaunas who are up by 15 after a dominant display in the third quarter. Fenerbahce edged their way back to put 19 points on the board, but they conceded 27. Fantastic performance so far from Jalgiris Kaunas. And they have really made life difficult for the home team. Myris Gregonis with nine points in the game so far. Perfect shooting from two-point territory and the free throw line. Edgar Stelanovas has been sensational. 16 points and perfect shooting from the field and the free throw line. Luigi Ditome has got 11 points in the game. Fenerbahce's second double-digit scorer. Two of three from downtown. Look at this from Brandon Davies. Playing like a contortionist down in the low post. The second of back-to-back -back buckets to take Brandon Davies to 10 points in the game on five or six shooting. So, so, 10 minutes to play here at the Ulka Sports and Event Hall and the home team are trailing by 15 points. Jalgiris have been better in just about every department tonight, but what has been really noticeable, notable has been their hustle and their energy. They really haven't allowed Fenerbahce to find any type of flow. And meanwhile, they have played with freedom, particularly in the second and third quarters. But this, a tough start by Fenerbahce. Back iron on the shot, and they come away with the offensive board. It's that man again, Edgar Solanovas, with his third offensive board of the night. Fantastic fight being demonstrated by Edgar Solanovas. 
typifying the effort that Jalgiris Kanas are producing here at the Elka Sports and Event Hall. Fenerbahce with a fantastic defensive stand, but now they've got to defend for 14 seconds again. Aaron White didn't look at the three-pointer. Now it's Walker calling for the screen from Davies. Davies has got Slukas on his back. Instead, they go to Edgar Selenovic, who gets to the lane. His first miss of the night. His footing slipped beneath him as he let the shot go. Again, the Fenerbahce faithful are trying to rouse their team. Facing a double-digit deficit here at the start of this fourth quarter. Kalinic. Rulaire trying to cut into the space of the zone. He's buffeted and coughs up the basketball. Euro step once again, rejected by Rulaire. What hustle to atone for the error that he committed. That's a hard body check from Myris Gregonis. And this is playoff basketball in the Turkish Airlines Euro League. Big body check just beyond mid-court. Sending Kostas Lukas careening across the hardwood. No quarter ass, none given from either team here at the Elka Sports and Event Hall. And the intensity continues to be incredibly high. You'd expect nothing less at this stage of the season. Is that another foul on Goulart? I say another, it's his first, but he's in the mix, that's for sure. Coughed up the basketball, raced back, got a fantastic rejection. Ian Gregonis continued to bump bodies down toward the lane, but how about that from Sinan Goulart? Regaining possession for his team after coughing it up in the face of a fierce defensive pincer movement at the other end. Brandon Davies, power dribble into the lane, Euro step, but too many steps. There was a jump stop off the power dribble and then he went to one leg to let the hook shot go. Power dribble, jump stop, one, two. Too many steps from Brandon Davies, traveling violation. Both teams still in search of their first score of this fourth quarter. Minute and a half gone here in Istanbul. Kalinic. Defended by White, Kalinic now only just squaring up to the triple threat position, working the dribble, looking to take Aaron White baseline, gets into the lane and doesn't get the roll on the hook, but he will go to the free throw line. Again, that's one on two from Nikola Kalinic. The players looking to create rather than letting the offense do the work off rapid ball movement. Bacibeko, Istanbul. 12 of 14 from the free throw line so far. Nikola Kalinic, one of the two players to miss a foul shot. He's one of two to this point. That's his only point of the game. And again, the Fenerbahce fans not giving up the fight. There is lots of time left in this game two here at the Elka Sports and Event Hall. Nikola Kalinic posts the first point of this fourth quarter. So a perfect trip to the free throw line for Nikola Kalinic. Reduces the arrears to 13 points. Fenerbahce now extending a full court D. Hawking the ball is Sinan Goulet. Leo Westerman brings it over half. Brandon Davies setting a screen. He now goes go down to post up. He receives the ball. Double teamed momentarily. Now it's a full blooded double team of Nicolo Meli helps out. Turnaround shot. In and out. Rebound Gigi de Tome. Costas Lucas looking for options. Sedan Goulet up ahead. Oh my goodness. Well, would you believe that? Two of the best players in the Euro League combining to be involved in a rather calamitous. <laughs> Turnover, and I'm chuckling. And it's that type of pass, a daisy cutter between the ankles of Nicolo Meili. What's he supposed to do with that? Costas Lucas immediately acknowledging the error. But that, dare I say it, perhaps typifying the night to a certain extent that Fenerbahce are producing. 
Westerman for three, short on the shot. What a rebound by Gigi Ditome. Westerman gets down and takes the ball away from him. And that is this game in a nutshell. Upstairs it goes, Brandon Davies can't con convert. Now it's a five on four, Fenerbahce in full flow. Slukas to the rack and a coast to coast play from Kostas Lukas takes him to 15 points in the game. The Fenerbahce fight back is on. So far they're outscoring. Jalgiris Kaunas 4-0 in this fourth quarter. And Jalgiris Kaunas have got to play with the type of freedom that they demonstrated through the three completed quarters so far. Brandon Davies fouled in the act of shooting. That'll send him to the free throw line. Tough catch by Brandon Davies. Three Fenerbahce players surrounded him. Kostas Lukas was the man who was called for the foul. So Brandon Davies to the free throw line for the first time tonight. 76% shooter on the season. 80% from the strike for his career. First points on the board with practically three minutes gone for Jalgiris Kaunas. They came into this with a 15-point advantage. The largest lead of the game has been 17, a perfect trip to the free-throw line for Brandon Davies. He takes a seat on the bench. Checking back into the game is Dion Thompson. And what has been, again, worthy of note from Jalgiris Kaunas is that despite their rotations, there has been no let-up. And the bench have done a terrific job, truth be told, of increasing the energy. Thomas Walker, in particular, Checking in and doing a fantastic job. He's shadowing the Tome now. Skip past to Sinan Goulet. Sees a lane baseline, slices to the bucket and gets his first points of the game off that drive and finish. Canabache continuing to chip away. The deficit now just 11. Westerman trying to orchestrate the half-court set, but will the teammates even be able to hear in this cacophony of an atmosphere? Walk up to Dion Thompson who goes up strong, can't get the finish, but he does get the foul and will go to the free throw line. And the patience of Jalgiris Kaunas paying off once again. 2.5 seconds left on the offense and they did not panic. The drive, the dish, Dion Thompson up strong and he is furious that he didn't finish that play. So Sinan Goulaire called for the foul. Dion Thompson just a 53% foul shooter this season. So perhaps a good foul in that respect. But he makes the free throw. Terrific effort from Dion Thompson. Perfect trip to the floor. Would be a fantastic result. Excuse me, a perfect trip to the line. And that's what it is. Dion Thompson, two of two from the free throw line. Moves to six points in the game. His field goals were scored real close to the rim. The first on offensive, put back the second off a two-fisted power dunk on the inside. Here is Kaunas up by 13 once again. Approaching four minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Nicolo Meili double teamed immediately. Jalgiris' energy continues to be off the charts. Thomas Walkup called for the foul. It is on walk-up. I think that's going to be his fourth. So walk-up takes a seat on the bench, having picked up that foul. Kalinic, excuse me, Detome looking to work on Malaknis. Gigi Detome. While perhaps Fenerbahce look to continue to feed the hot hand. He goes to 13 points in the game now. Fenerbahce reduced the deficit to 11. That's beyond Dion Thompson, but last touch by Kostas Lukas. Almost took it away, but instead it's Jalgiris Kanas who will continue to have possession. Nine seconds on this offense remain for Jalgiris Kaunas. 
Ragonis driving into the lane. Big body check from Nicolo Meili to the corner. Leo Westerman in and out. Fighting for it once again, but not coming up with it on this occasion. There's Edgar Stelanova, Sinan Guler with terrific control of ball and body before coming over the halfway line. Top of the zone is Dion Thompson. Inside it goes to Nicolo Meili. Lurking on the help is Edgar Stelanova. The zone D proving really effective for Jalgiris Kaunas. Leo Westerman called for the foul. So it's Lucas. Jan Thompson at the top of the zone once again, stretching out a long arm into the face. Oh, delightful offload from Sinan Goulet, and it dishes it off to Nicolo Meili, who finishes with a jam on the inside. It's only two points on the board, but it reduces the arrears to single digits, and it's the type of play that gets the fans up on their feet, and then they force a steal at the other end. The second one for Nicolo Meili, who's in the thick of the action for Fenerbahce. Mele with an open baseline, Gregonis guarding him. Mele feels for him with the left shoulder, picks up a dribble, turns the other way, but blows it on the inside, he can't believe it. He claps his hands together in frustrated fashion because that was a terrific low post move, he did everything right. And perhaps he couldn't believe how open he was, there was no help defence arriving. Villanovas working on Kalinic, he's lifted his feet up. Travelling violation. And Fenerbahce are launching their fight back now. Outscoring Jalgiris Kaunas by six points in this period so far. They've held Jalgiris to just four points in the period. Timeout on the floor. And Fenerbahce back at Istanbul will feel that they are right back in this game. A deficit that's been as large as 17, that was 15 points at the start of the quarter, is now down to single figures. So the seven days magic moment comes from the early stages of this game. And it's the drive and dish from Edgar Stelanovas to Dion Thompson, who planted his foot forcefully and exploded to the basket for a two-fisted finish on the inside, right over the top of Ahmet Deverioglu. Terrific team play from Jalgiris Kaunas, finished by Dion Thompson for the seven days magic moment. Like so many of his teammates, Dion Thompson has made a terrific contribution tonight. Everybody who has got onto the floor has put points on the board. Fenerbahce are closing the def deficit incrementally. And now this is going to be a test of the composure of Jalgiris Kaunas. They still have the advantage, of course. But they have been locked up in the fourth quarter held to just four points with six minutes gone in this period. Kalinic gives it back to Slukas as he gives him an awkward pass to deal with. Slukas did the same thing to Nicolo Meli a few minutes ago. The, the toe, excuse me, from the corner, it's Marco Guduric burying that shot from downtown. Three of five from long range, 11 points is his total now. And it's a two possession game. Fenerbahce have fought their way back to just a six-point deficit. And Brandon Davies has lost his footing. What a save! The ball kept in play and Fenerbahce on the break. Kalinic calling for the clear out and watching go to work now on Leo Westerman. Brandon Davies is lurking with the help. He's picked up his dribble. Oh, that's a poor pass out of the low post. And Edgar Stelanovas looks to silence the crowd with a breakaway jam. What a game Edgar Stelanovas is having. Bagging the steal, racing full court and finishing with a left-handed flush. 18 points in the game for him. And Zelko Abradovic is irate over on the sideline. All of the momentum that Fenerbahce built up Broken by that rather careless pass out of the low post by Nikola Kalinic.
Gareth Villanovas has been so energetic all game long as his first steal. But his commitment to the cause, he has really set the tone for Jalgiris Kaunas is their leading scorer on what has been a terrific night of shooting. Eight of nine from two-point territory, along with six rebounds. Three of them coming at the offensive end. So Jalgiris Kaunas extending the D. They've scored just six points in the period so far, but they are still up by eight. Fenerbahce used a 7-0 run to reduce the arrears to just six. Slukas picked up on this near side by White. White remaining, the ball guard at the top of the key. Slukas has pulled up, back iron on the shot, pushing off on the inside. It's usually to tell me, I feel, but I think not. I thought that's what the call was going to be. Instead, it's a foul against Leo Westerman. Yep, Westerman not leaving his feet, trying to strip the ball from the Tome. So Westerman called for his second, Jalgiris Karnas in the penalty. Gigi the Tome, unerringly accurate from the free throw line. The sixth most accurate foul shooter of all time, 91% from the strike both this season and for his career. Well, both teams continue to do an outstanding job from the far line. Jalgiris Kanas have yet to miss. There's confirmation. And Abachi have missed just twice. How crucial will those foul shots prove to be in the final analysis? Walk-up picked up by Vesely. Vesely playing with four fouls. Inside it goes to Brandon Davies. Walk-up into the lane. Kicks the perimeter. Westerman for three. Rim shot. Rebound. Marco Goduric. Slukas. Inside it goes to Vesely. Vesely's got a huge mismatch here. Brandon Davies is looking to help in the halo. Vesely kicks to the corner, but it's taken away. And that is on two trips down the floor. Passing out of the low post has put paid to Fenerbahce's momentum. Walk up, the man on this occasion bagging the steal on the previous careless pass out of the low post. Committed by Nikola Kalinic a few minutes ago, it was Edgar Silanovas who got the steal. Fenerbahce now in the penalty after that second foul committed by Luigi de Tome. And that will send Walk up to the free throw line. Well, Jan Vesely normally does such an outstanding job passing out of the low post. Walk up. Can't find the range. The first miss from the free throw line. By Jalgiris Kaunas tonight. And in 22 attempts, that's just Thomas Walkup's fourth miss all season. He's an 86% foul shooter. So far this campaign, he's missed both. We talked about how important foul shots are. It's a two-possession affair here, deep into money time at the Olka Sports and Event Hall. Kalinic inside to Vesely. He doesn't come down with it. What a play! A below the rim alley oop completed by Jan Vesely. Bring Fener brings Fenerbahce right back into this game. They are down by just four. What a catch and what a conversion. Terrific body control by Jan Vesely. To finish that play at the bucket, Fenerbahce continuing to claw their way back into this contest. Time out on the floor and the home team down just four. And look at the way they have turned the tables in this fourth quarter. Do they have enough time to get themselves back to parity and indeed over the line and to the winning post? Saruna Shasakaiba just drawing up the plate. Uh, and game Mario. management crucial for both teams.
So it is a four-point game with two minutes and change to play here at the Oka Sports and Event Hall. Jalgiris Karnas have found points really difficult to come by in this quarter so far. They have scored just six. Mr. Lucas, looks as though he may well be called for the foul. It's his second, but it will send Jalgiris Karnas to the free throw line. Both teams in the penalty. Mr. Lucas applies a forearm to the midsection of Brandon Davies. Locking arms with him down low, hanging on like a bull terrier in the low post. Big free throws for Brandon Davies. He's perfect from the line so far and remains that way. So the seven points. Scored by Jalgiris Kaunas in this quarter so far. Now oh, that's a miss. So it remains seven points for Jalgiris Kaunas. And the majority of them have come from the foul line. Thomas Walker missed to what an alley oop! The connection between Costas Lucas and Jan Vesely working to perfection. The feed from the top of the key found Jan Vesely soaring through the air and he finished in athletic fashion to make it a one-possession game. Brandon Davies has lost his footing but kept possession of the basketball and he's stripped, gang tackled by a trio of Fenerbahce defenders. Fenerbahce on the break, Goduric down in the corner, brings it back out. Minute 20 to go in this fourth quarter. Heavy traffic surrounding. Nikola Kalinic, and he's asking for a continuation. Foul called on Brandon Davies. I don't think the continuation is going to be given. <laughs> Terrific catch by Nikola Kalinic. Gets the drive, got the shot away, but not before the whistle had sounded. No continuation. So it's two shots to come for Nikola Kalinic. He's three or four from the strike so far, and he's missed the first. So encouraging applause cascading down from the stands here at the Elka Sports and Event Hall. Nikola Kalinic makes the second, his team back to within two. One minute and 15 seconds remaining in regulation. Both teams in the penalty. Jalgiris Karnas has scored just seven points in the quarter so far. Scored just one field goal. The rest of their points have come from the free throw line. Turnover, tossed out of bounds by Edgar Solanovas. And what a time for the man who has been so good for Jalgiris Kanas to make an effort. The change up D presented a different look to Fenerbahce. And he didn't put it to Malaknis. He put it about three feet to his right. And the ball sailed harmlessly out of bounds from Fenerbahce's point of view. They have possession of the basketball. There's a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. They are down by two. They're shooting over 50% from three-point territory. Jalgiris are in the penalty. There's a huge mismatch here for Vesely. Brugonis wrestling his man down in the block. They give it to the Tomi, who settles for a long-range two, and he buries it to tie things up at 80 points apiece. And the roof is being raised here at the Oka Sports and Event Hall, because having been down by as many as 17 points in the second half, Fenerbahce have tied this thing up with less than a minute to play in the fourth quarter. Luigi Natome absolutely sensational. 17 points in the game, and no bucket has been bigger than that to give us parity once again, deep into money time here in Istanbul.
Borussia Sakaevic is a sea of tranquility in this incredibly loud atmosphere. Jan Vesely has come to life in the fourth quarter, hooking up with Kostas Lukas for a trademark above the rim completion. And it's those type of plays, despite being just two points on the board, they give so much energy to the home fans and the team. Look at the response up in the crowd here. And then when Gigi Dittomi buried that long range two. Oh, the volume level was cranked up. Brandon Davies working on Kalinic. He goes to the spin move. Lots of body looking to get out of a double team. He tosses it up. Shot clock in the red. Gregonis on the drive. Inside. Oh, that is a nerveless finish from Edgar Elenovis. And he beat the shot clock. What a play from Elenovis to stick home that bucket and give his team a two-point lead. Shot clock has been turned off. Fenerbahce down by two. Costas Lucas defended by Davies, working the dribble. Sees a lane, kicks to the corner. Now a turnover has been committed by Marco Goduric. Oh my goodness. What a costly error that could prove to be. He stepped out of bounds when looking to attempt the sidestep. Here's the dish. And the eagle-eyed official optimally placed. Fenerbahce have got a foul immediately. There it is. So the foul committed to send Leo Westerman to the free throw line. Westerman, a 78% foul shooter. Now this is an incredible finish by Edgar Silanovas. He beat the shot clock to move to 18 points in the game on eight of nine shooting. And that, the heart-wrenching moment when Marco Goduric realized that he committed the turnover by stepping over the baseline. So Westerman to the free throw line. These free throws are absolutely huge and he's missed the first. So if he makes this, it's a one possession game with 3.8 seconds remaining. A three pointer would send it to overtime. Nerve wracking moment for everybody involved here. He's missed both. Ball has been secured. Gigi Determined trying to get it over the halfway line. He launches a one legged three and he hits the rim. Jalgiris Kaunas brings Fenerbahce's home winning streak to an end. In an absolute Thriller here in game two of the playoff series. Jalgiris Kaunas inflict the first defeat on Fenerbahce here on home court this season. The first defeat here at the Ulka Sports and Event Hall suffered by Fenerbahce for 378 days since they lost to Malaga last season. And the first playoff defeat here at home under the auspices of Zelko Abradovic. All of those losses, all of those records have been broken by a terrific display by Jalgiris Kaunas, who led by as many as 17, and then weathered a terrific rally by Fenerbahce Iskambul to prevail by two. Final score from the Oka Sport and Event Hall, Fenerbahce Istanbul 80, Jalgiris Kaunas 82. Turkish Airlines, seven days, nisinenok.com. Denny's Bank, Siesta, Tadim, Lenovo, Burger King, and SEG. Official global sponsors in association with the Turkish Airlines Euro League.